the, the video game crash of 1983 put Intellivision out of business and it really was harmful to Mattel and I was president of Mattel's toy division at that time. I actually thought we would be able to compete with Nintendo and grow to be of almost equal size. I didn't think in the early days that we'd pass Nintendo, which we obviously did by 1994. My genesis is somewhere in all that junk. Somewhere back there is my original genesis. And that... I don't know how I feel about that. You know, we changed the industry, we competed, and competition is really good for business. Started with Sega against Nintendo. Getting the Genesis completely changed my view on what gaming was. I was like, I think I was like 9 or 10. But when my dad gave me the Genesis, it was like, this is okay. Like, this, me liking games is fine. It was what got me feeling like a gamer of my own, like my own gamer and not just watching my brother play. They had the, the younger kids market locked up. You know, everybody had a Nintendo. If you were if you were 10 years old to 13, you owned a, a Nintendo. Our strategy was to go after an older audience, leave the younger kids with Nintendo, and clearly position ourselves as being correct for older teens and college-age players. And we did a lot on college campuses, by the way. If there were two boys in a family, and one was younger and one was older, if the younger one saw the older brother playing with the Sega Genesis, he was going to want it too. So we really got the whole market. Because we proved that you could compete with Nintendo, the market expanded greatly. I mean, you think about it. In 1990, it was a billion, some, just a little over a billion dollars business. Today, it's a hundred billion dollar industry. We expanded the age range greatly, and you now have uh, I think Sony says that uh, uh, over 50% of their players are over the age of 30. Everybody talked about Mario and of course the, all the kids knew who Mario was. I felt we needed a, a character that would be representative of Sega, that would show why our Genesis was a better hardware platform than the Nintendo NES. Our strategy was to kind of be that, uh, that uh, smart-ass teenager next door. You know, we were, <laughs> we, were, we were the guys who were sticking it to Nintendo. We were making fun of them. We talked about how much better we were and how much faster we were and how slow they were. And of course, Sonic was all of those things. Nobody had ever seen a character move in a video game machine with the speed that Sonic the Hedgehog moved on the screen. I mean, that was really very, very different. And still is, frankly, to today, uh, the speed with which the character moves is still uh, much faster than you see most other characters move on in a video game. I do remember loving Sonic. Um, I think I was more, I, 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 I grew up more with Mario, for sure, even after the Genesis. But the Genesis will always be in that spot where it's like, that's where I became a gamer. So the first drawings of Sonic the Hedgehog, he had big fangs, he looked ferocious, his spikes were very, very sharp and pointed, and uh, he, he had a girlfriend uh, named Madonna, interestingly, who was uh, very well developed. The Japanese idea, the, develop the, the early developers, they thought that that's what the character should look like. Uh, we changed that. We took away his fangs, we, we got rid of Madonna, uh, we made his spikes a little gentler. We made him like a teenager who knew what the right thing to do was and eventually always did it. But it might have taken him a little time to get there. My favorite Sega game is Sonic 2. Uh, I, I, I think it's the best game that, uh, best Sega game, best Sonic game that we ever did to this day. I think we could learn so much from the, the history behind Nintendo and Sega. It says so much about the gaming industry. Now you know it's, it's Sony and Microsoft. As much of a competition as it is, it's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It keeps the industry alive.
everybody should be a gamer. I still play games. I still have something like 800 games in my basement. Uh, and it just is a great way to spend time, be entertained, relax, and get rid of stress.